Hi, I'm Marilyn Bradley. I have this special exhibit at Webster Arts, number two summit, that shows my retrospective from the 1960s to now. I started out in high school uh, working in a pathology lab and one of the doctors was writing a book and needed some drawings. So consequently, I had never had any art at all, but I said, okay, you know, as a high school student, you can do anything. So I did the drawing, and because of that, when I applied for colleges, I got a scholarship at Washington University in chemistry. About two years after going through all those horrible classes, <laughs> and not having a chance to relax. I took some classes down at the art school. I thought I better learn how to draw. So I ended up going into advertising illustration where you really had to know how to draw. After I graduated, my first job was in architectural illustration. I knew nothing about architectural illustration, um, but I took some books and learned on the spot. It didn't last very long. It was about six weeks and he realized I didn't know anything. After that, I ended up doing fashion illustration because St. Louis at that time was a fashion headquarters. So people would bring me shoes and clothes and I would do the drawing and then they'd use that in their advertising. I continued trying to do different things. I got a lot of freelance jobs and these freelance jobs, I was willing to take anything. I would compete with whoever. Nobody ever knew me because it was always through the mail. And so I signed my name, M. Bradley. That way I could get a lot of industrial jobs and nobody knew. I'd started learning how to paint. I never knew really that much on how to control watercolor, but I was very good at drafting and drawing. So I started working with drawings of the buildings in St. Louis. Since I had already done that background, I was getting better. I learned how to control the watercolors and I started doing watercolors. At that time, not too many people were doing watercolors. It was only considered study for a later painting in oil. And I finally got somewhat of a following. I continued working mostly a traditional way of advertising and landscapes and architectural. Eventually, I got tired of doing landscapes and St. Louis landmarks. I have done over 600 St. Louis landmarks and landscapes, and I started changing the drawing and painting into a very geometric style. And in this geometric style, I thought, oh, this is fun, it's different. It's a different way to look at it where everything is just line and tangents, no circles, no arcs or anything, and it's taken off. I've done that in the last five years now, and I've gotten a reputation for my new direction of geometric transformations. This retrospective at Webster Arts will be on exhibit until February 16th. And the reason for this show is really celebrating the 20th anniversary of Webster Arts. I was one of the original members when it first started. I've been in a lot of the shows that they've had. It's a good way to celebrate, and we'd like to have you come and visit.